I was um, living in Deptford some 20 years ago and a friend of mine did a scheme, did a video for a scheme, a self-build scheme which was promoted by Lewisham Council. And we were Lewisham tenants at the time and he introduced me to the video he had done then he said there was a list for people to put their names down if they would like to build their own house. And I thought, oh yeah, I'd love to do that. But it was like, it was just like a stab in the dark. And two years later, we were actually selected amongst a number of people to be the lucky ones to choose a plot. What the council did says, look, there's the land, there's the architect, there's the money. Go and build your three bedroom house. I did more of the simple jobs, um, but I was a real, I was in there, but we were kind of a building team. It took us two and a half years. Every evening, every weekend, we had no friends. They call this house a micro-generating station. So we are a little generating station. It just means that we're now independent of the electrical companies. I keep telling my friends that I put my Ferrari on the roof of the house. I bought a Ferrari, but in the form of solar panels. So but it's um, a good version of keeping up with the Joneses, really. I think everybody now wants to be seen to be... So instead of having the fantastic car in the drive, which is our solar panels, um, we've got the panels. We can boast that we have the biggest array of solar panels in South East London. And you feel quite good about boasting about that. Everybody's used to using gas and electricity, but heat pump is the way, it's the future way to heat the house, the most efficient way to heat the house. The boys have helped Dave, so with this, the sort of the last, this stage of the project, his sons have given him a lot more help than me. The lab laborious work, like shifting sand and digging up mud, clay, and stuff. yeah, clay. Lots of lifting and pushing. Um, free exercise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Busting your back. And getting your dad off your back. <laughs> Do the heat pumps work? They've been sat on the bal on the um, porch for two weeks now. I suppose I'm like the voice of reason and suspicion. In any project, you need in you need the person who's enthusiastic and who does and who dreams and then you need that horrid little voice that says oh well, I don't know and I don't know if it's gonna work. I feel that if I talk about something I can explain to somebody, I can encourage somebody but if I actually do it I can actually show by example. The thing with Dave is he's a doer so he won't sit around thinking about things for ages and then he'll, if anything he jumps in very quickly I think that's the best way of setting an example instead of preaching. Yeah. You achieve more through that action over words any day. Mm. The boys love it because the boys have got, the, you know, they've got their band and they, when they go on stage, they're always doing, sort of mentioning their dad and sort of bigging him up. The dad who's got the, so I think they're really proud of him. My dad, compared to other dads, um, obviously he's my dad, so he's cool and above them. As long as we're doing something constructive of our time, he's always willing to help us along the way. It's easier to sit back and do nothing because the whole problem looks so enormous. But it's the whole thing about switching lights off, isn't it? We're just taking it to the next level, really. If we all think a bit more. And I have to say, since we've got the solar panels, you do think much more about how you're using electricity. Because when you're making your own and you leave a light on, you really see that you're just throwing your money away. All this technology is here now. It's for us to do as much as you can do. It's within your reach. Financially, it's there. You don't have to do it all in one go. So I encourage everybody to look at it as the step, one step of many steps. <laughs>